Let's talk about the future. Make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when more videos like this come out. So this video is gonna be a bit of a rant, but it's a bit of a way to express the ideas that I've been having about the future and where I think it's gonna go. Now, we all see AI, we see technological improvements, we see so much, and we also see a big movement towards nature and getting rid of all that stuff. These are the two camps that I like to identify because we have the people who see this stuff and they don't wanna to go towards it and the people who really want to only use technology and see how they can better themselves. The fact is the technology stuff, we don't know how it's gonna last. We don't know how, what it's actually gonna create for us in the future. See, we always have this added is that once a health study comes out, we know that if we apply the same method that it's going to be replicated in us. But the fact of the matter is those experimental things, we don't know how they affect our cells, our population, society for the next 20, 30, 50, 100 years. In the video where I talked about the long, long now, that is a different mentality of thinking. It's what is going to happen if we do this now, later in time, right? Because you could get stem cells, you could go into ketosis, you could do all these things, but we don't really know how they affect us in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. You know, smoking wasn't thought of as being bad until we started to see the negative ramifications from it. And so much like that happens in the future that we don't know about right now. So in one camp, we have people who are going away from it and they're returning back to nature, which is a way of life. Is it the ideal way of life? We can't say because it's completely dependent on who you wanna be. But the thing that I'm seeing the most is that technology is causing a lot of illnesses. So people are looking for holistic, for natural treatments. The thing is, we need to bridge the gap. We need to make nature and technology become somehow a singularity. And not a singularity in the sense of, oh, it's the singularity when AI becomes realized and can continue to create other AI and then subsequently we enter some new stage of reality where like basically anything could happen. But instead, we need a synergy that comes about from these two. We need nature and technology to start to complement each other and really work together. See, technology feels cold, it doesn't feel good, right? Nature feels warm, it feels like Mother Earth. And the thing is, we get so dissociated and it seems like some people only focus on technology, some people only focus on nature, but we have both of these things and they're both growing constantly. Mother Earth grows, even though we may think it's dying, it's still growing. On the other hand, technology grows. Moore's law dictates that we are literally evolving at a pace that we've never been able to evolve at before because every time we create something new, we then are evolving even quicker. The thing is, both are evolving. And Nature has made us over millions and millions of years and it's made all these different advances in technology that we have in our biological systems over so long. Technology is pretty new. And so if there's a way to integrate them, and I don't know because I'm not a uh, programmer, I'm not someone who knows how to code and what is used in many of these different uh, systems of technology. But what I can say is the more that we can use technology, with nature, the better it will be. That or we're gonna see a chaotic gap that starts to divide nature from technology. And if we cannot create technology fast enough to replicate nature or to bridge the gap, because all in all, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make technology allow people to live longer. We're natural. We are part of the earth. We are the organism in the environment and the environment consists of the organism. Then what will happen is a lot of not good stuff. So it becomes one of those issues where, yes, we've created amazing technology, but now it causes disease. Can we create more technology to take care of the disease or do we just go back to mother nature and allow that to take care of the disease? And that's a complex thought that I've really been having lately and I just wanted to create a video to get you thinking about that because I think it's one of the most important things that we have to address if we're gonna evolve as a species, make it to wherever we go, whether that's Mars with Elon Musk or staying here and making sure that this place grows with us because it's what nurtured us from the beginning and it's what will be with us at the end. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. If it sparked your mind in any way, make sure to press like. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and I look forward to hearing from you soon.